Legends of Aria is an old school MMO that focuses on being like Ultima Online or at least in that realm or at least that was the idea when they kickstarted it and launched it. It has had a rough time and they decided sometime back that they wanted to dive into the NFT waters and attempt to garner some attention to the Legends of Aria MMO by jumping on the cryptocurrency NFT bandwagon. Now most of you are probably aware that the cryptocurrency world is on fire right now and I I mean in the bad way and that gamers have objectively rejected nfts pretty universally and companies have been mocked and memed and slapped around for discussing nft plans all across the board for quite a while now it would go then to reason that the makers of legends of aria would probably want to turn away from the burning cesspit of poo poo fecal matter that is the nft world but it appears they are going forward with their plans as of may 11th they started their alpha test for Legend of Aria's cryptocurrency model. Uh, I'm serious. Uh, they plan to relaunch the game in 2023-ish with a crypto model, and I guess they just don't mind being burned alive in the process. The, the plan is to keep a Legends of Aria classic so that it remains how it is, and have another version of the game or another client to be Legends of Aria crypto, or whatever they choose to call it. Now, how do they plan to do it? Well, based on the information they have released it's kind of this system where gold coins for one thing can be earned from playing and they're tied directly to a representative cryptocurrency in other words they can be cashed in for real money on top of that any items or your house or land plot can be also turned to nft and sold all these sales would happen on the official legends of aria nft marketplace of course so that they get their cut and all that kind of thing now listen i know that that could possibly sound kind of cool at a base level like wow well, I can earn loot in the game and I can cash it in for real money. The problem is what that does to the video game and what it turns the game into in reality. Even if the cryptocurrency market wasn't an absolute train wreck, unregulated disaster right now, just put that to the side for a second and think of what, what kind of atmosphere, what kind of economy you are building for your game, for your online world, for your MMO, and, and also the type of players and the kind of activities that will inevitably come from that. And if you can imagine Imagine the most toxic and vile player base imaginable. Go ahead and multiply that by at least 10, and that should land you somewhere in the ballpark of what you'd be looking at. And also, what kind of inside trading for the people that work for Legends of Aria would there be since it's unregulated? I mean, are, are there any regulations in place that wouldn't cause artificial inflation and or all the desirable things going to the people at Legends of Aria and the player base left like some post-apocalyptic scenario scratch? it out to the death for a can of corn. I mean, it's just all very bizarre to think about. And now, then again, let's be fair, the cryptocurrency or play to earn model is still largely untested. And sure, we are all making our assumptions, but when the majority of the world is shouting no, like big neon sign, please no, dear God, no, to NFTs in their online worlds, then it has to, at the very least, be admitted that Legends of Aria deciding to dive back Face first, like some kind of chimpanzee trying to grab a banana with their whole business model at stake here is at the very least very bizarre and worthy of at least scratching your head in wonderment and astonishment as they move excitedly forward into this. Now let's real quick, we need to take a minute to thank the members of Napalm for their contributions to this channel. If you're interested, hit that join down below and then I'll be back to rant some more about the situation. So don't go nowhere. Before we continue, I want to give a shout out to the members of Napalm. Thanks to your contributions, this channel is able to produce the content and get the equipment and gear necessary to keep this channel alive and improving. Thank you. And if you are interested in becoming a member of the channel and helping support my YouTube journey, please click join down below for a list of options starting as low as $1.99 per month. Please, I'm hungry. And I want to give a very special shout out to the Lords of Napalm. Bounty Code, We Toke Bitcoins, Jared Woodhouse, Daimlos, Farthest Reach, Not Sid, Sparrow, Carsony, Christopher Hensel. Thank you for your highest tier membership. Now on to the video. Now a couple things we got to also talk about with Legends of Aria is that this is a full loot open world MMORPG. And when you take something like full loot and then you throw or kind of toss some NFT crypto on top of it, it 
really feels like that's going to become even more toxic than I had previously stated. On the other hand, I can see a certain special kind of player who would find that exhilarating. And then the reality should set in for all of us that huge guilds will run around owning all the good crypto loot, smashing all the smaller guilds, or God help you, should you be running around on your own. There just is no reality where I can twist and churn things or, or, or see this working for Legends of Aria, and it just completely baffles me beyond all realms of existence that this is what they are moving forward with. What do you guys think, though? Are they just testing the waters with this alpha and they're gonna learn the truth and back away? I mean, they it's worth mentioning, too, that they've been talking about transitioning into the crypto or the play-to-earn model at least since the beginning of the year. So, I mean, I would assume they've already done the research beforehand. I, I just don't get it. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think and your opinions. I'm really curious to hear what you think about all this. Is there any hope they might pull this off and be successful? And have you ever played Legends of Aria? I, I played it for a while back closer to launch and the only real reason I didn't like it or couldn't get fully invested into it was honestly just the camera angle. I'm, I'm a picky, I'm a picky little bee. Uh, also, it had, you know, if it had been over the shoulder, like third person, I probably would have played it a lot longer, maybe even got really into it, because I thought the game itself was pretty good. And and being able to make your own realm, you make your own server, uh, and they had that whole Ultima kind of remake world kind of thing they somehow were squeezing around that was player made, but uh, never gotten any trouble for that, I guess. So, I mean, there was potential there. So let me know. Anyway, if you played or if you know about it, if you got opinions on this game, played it in the past, etc., or maybe you're planning on trying it, maybe on the classic or... Uh, Maybe you're even one of those people who really is interested in the crypto. Let me know why and, and all that kind of information down below. And also, if you are new here, please consider subscribing for MMORPG content as well as RPGs in general, including tabletop RPGs, and hit that like button to help me crush that YouTube algorithm with my battle axe. And until next time, my friends, God bless and happy gaming.